alpha is less than uh, alpha you want now c alpha you are going to calculate h plus from that if h plus coming out to be less than 10 to the power minus x consider water also calculate it also h plus coming from water adding both of them take ph by this is the procedure should we skip this you can do by also do next question calculate ph of 10 to the power minus 2 molar ns3 And with power minus two molar ns three k is same. K is same. K is same. Two into ten power minus five. Between concentration and Ka value, 
because K defines the weak acid, yes? So whenever concentration is less than Ka, weak acid behaves as strong acid. No. Strong acid, yes. In terms of dissociation, it will dissociate completely. So, if you see that 10 to the power minus 5 is the Ka, and we took 10 to the power minus 6 as concentration. Then hold 10 to the power minus 6 comes up. Yes. H plus. Huh? You can take H plus concentration as 10 to the power minus 6. H plus concentration as 10 to the power minus 6. Yeah. Right. Oh, alpha, then you are saying it comes okay. Next is, right, for the same question, 10 to the power minus 4 molar. Just check, is there any difference? Now solve it in class. 10 to the power minus 4 molar. So for this question, for NS3, 10 to the power minus 4 molar concentration.
and answer is not 9.56. Sir, I Point think it's alpha? Yeah. Yes. OH minus will be C yeah. alpha? Yeah. That is 3.5 into 10 power minus 5 molar? Yeah. Can we consider water? Yeah. OH minus from water? Yes. 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 Oh, 
Okay, so then now we solve it. Now we solve it, we will get alpha as 1. Because we ignored this. So what is it? So your is very close to answer. I am not saying this is wrong. But the way is like this. Whenever you write this, you can't ignore this. You can't ignore this line. I will ignore it. I will ignore it. So what is the value? Alpha is almost equal to 1. Now if I take. Okay. Now answer. Sorry, I have the H plus from both of them. 
That's it. No. Yes. Sir, a question. What? Root of K1 and without 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 K1 
So K1 equals to C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 1 K2 by K2 by K1. Why? It's a link. So just replace K2, K1 and K2 to get added, right? Can I write A2, A1 by K2 equals to alpha 1 by alpha 2? Yeah. Yes? Can I write KA1 equals to C1 alpha 1? plus C2, alpha 1, KA2, by KA1, N2 alpha 1. Yeah, that's it. Any doubt? Any doubt? Any doubt? Any doubt? So, you may get alpha 1 equals to KA1 divided by under root of C1. You got that, sir. You got that. You got it. You got it. Okay, now, is it clear? What happened? Okay, next, what is the final expression we are getting? Let me use it. So, C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 2 is equal to root of C1 K1 plus C2 K1. So, final expression of this is whole root of whole root of It's not root of B. Okay, so that was I that I asked you in starting. 
that effect of water is taken like that. So consider water as a third acid and thus add K2 that same. That's all that we needed to do. That's actually nice. <laughs> so I got it. I said the same thing. It's a very interesting to know that we can consider water directly like this. But nowhere in the ionic compound, ionic uh, equilibrium, we will add water. You, you can consider OH minus H plus from water like this. Just put K2 in the formula. Okay. Is it clear? So, what did we go rapidly? 
Whenever there is a strong acid and a weak acid mixture is present, hey, listen, listen. Can I say that whenever a mixture of strong acid and weak acid is present, dissociation constant is very, very less. So they are for the weak acid. For weak acid. Definitely for weak yeah. acid. It is very, very less. So can I always consider alpha is less than 0.1? Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. 